Painting is a centuries-old tradition, but this is not your grandfather's workshop. This computer-controlled bat shaper is carving out a custom-designed Cooper Believe bat. Former sign writer Rod Gray started the family business three years ago after fixing his friend's bats for years. My daughter got really sick um, a few years ago and uh, I guess my wife and I both looked at what we were doing and working plenty of hours doing what we were doing and, and uh, not really enjoying it as much as we used to. He says bat making has seen big changes, especially in the way premium English willow is grown and cut. The clefts have increased in size, also the moisture content isn't as high, um, so that it allows the bat to be big but light. The trusty blade might have changed significantly over the past decade or so, but for Rod, that simply reflects exciting changes in the sport itself. I mean, they're hitting the ball so far these days and their bats are, are so big. Um, so, you know, I, I don't mind that at all. I think it's great for the game. I think it brings fans to the game and that's a good thing. There have been calls to ban bats like the Grey Nichols made Kaboom used by Dave Warner. I've never picked up Dave Warner's bats. So I don't know if it suits me, so I'll stick with my own style bat, I think. <laughs> Regional Queensland cricketer Dan Harris scored his first 100 with his new bat, the same number Rod expects to sell this year. I'm happy that the brand stays, um, stays small, grows organically, and, um, and we do everything the right way to get the best product, not just push things out the door. Robert Baird, 7 News.